I'm Wintin. Today I would like to do a quick demo about MicroPython running on the Shark Audio module. For those who don't know what MicroPython is, according to the official website, MicroPython is a lean and efficient implementation of the Python 3 programming language that includes a small subset of the Python standard library and is optimized to run on microcontrollers and in constrained environments. Basically, this is a bare metal version of the popular Python programming language. Let's first look at the hardware setup. This is, of course, the Shark Audio module. This is the FTDI USB to serial cable connect to my PC. Here are two audio cables. One connect to my cell phone, providing the music input to the broad. Another connect to the PC, being recorded into the video, so you can hear the output from the broad. The macro Python has been flashed into the unbroad flash memory. Here I have the serial terminal on my PC. I can power on the broad, and we can see the micro Python console here. And now I can use it just like a normal Python on a PC. For example, write a program to calculate the thumb of 1 through 100. Easy enough. One thing MicroPython differs from a, mic a normal Python is that it has built-in support for low-level hardware access. For example, general purpose input and output. Here I can write a program to blink the LED. Control of input and output pins are provided by the pin class of the machine module. We can actually use the help function to see what's available for the class. One thing I like about MicroPython and Python in general is the fact that I can test a lot of things and see the results directly without needing to write a full program and manually re recompile every time. Of course, here's What's actually happening is that it will compile the Python code I write into the ARM code and execute them on the fly. Next thing I would like to show is the capability of utilizing the DSP core of the Shark Audio module. The SC589 processor on the Shark Audio module has one ARM core and two Shark Plus DSP cores. Unfortunately, the MicroPython couldn't emit DSP instructions directly, but at least it can bootstrap and communicate with the DSP core. Here I have a SD card connect to my PC, and you can see the contents here. The DSP firmware is built with the CCES, just like normal DSP firmwares. And now I'm going to plug this card into the Shark Audio module. Reset the broad and we can see it saying that SD card has been detected. I can use the list directory to see what's on the SD card. The same files plus some hidden files which are not shown on my PC. Currently the DSP core is not running. So the first step is to bootstrap in the DSP core with the loader file. This is provided by the Shark module. Reading the load file into the memory, import the Shark module, and ask the module to bootstrap the DSP using the file just read. Done. We can see the LED is blinking, indicating the DSP is up and running now. I can play some music on my cell phone and you can hear the process the sound. A very simple delay effect has been implemented in this sample DSP application. Now the processing it's just uh, running in the DSP on its own. How can I control it? Like change some parameters. The source code is here. It's nothing more than telling the micro Python where everything is. Now I can use the struct shark data to access various things. For example, showing the current DSP load. I can also modify the parameters of the delay effect. To be able to do this easier, I've also written a simple user interface in Python, allowing modifying the parameters by just using arrow keys.
Well, I guess this wraps up this demo today. For more information, visit the product page for the Shark Audio module itself. Also, the wiki page for using the MicroPython on the Shark Audio module. Also, the official MicroPython wiki for more general information about MicroPython. Thanks for watching.